the government currently allows very rich people to live here but register abroad for tax purposes. I don't need to explain to the Prime Minister how non-dom status works. He already knows all about that. It costs the Treasury £3.2 billion every year. Why doesn't he put his mouth where his money where his mouth is and get rid of it? Well, well, Mr Speaker, I have been honest. We will have to take difficult decisions to restore economic stability and confidence. And my honourable friend, the Chancellor, will set that out in an autumn statement in just a few weeks. I am glad, Mr Speaker, that the party opposite the honourable gentleman has finally realised that spending does need to be paid for. It is a novel concept for the party opposite. This government is going to restore economic stability, and we will do it in a fair and compassionate way. I know he's been away for a few weeks, but he should have listened to what's been going on for the last two. He pretends he's on the side of working people, but in private he says something very different. Over the summer, he was secretly recorded at a garden party in Tunbridge Wells, boasting to a group of Tory members that he personally moved money away from deprived areas to wealthy places instead. Rather than apologise or pretend that he meant something else, why doesn't he now do the right thing and undo the changes that he made to those funding formulas? Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I know... I know... I, I, I know the right... I know the right, honourable gentleman, rarely leaves North London. But if he does, but if he, if he does, he will know that there are deprived areas in our rural communities, in our coastal communities, and across the south. And this government will relentlessly support them because we are a government that will deliver for people across the United Kingdom. I think everyone should watch the video and make their own minds up. In public, he claims he wants to level up the north. But then he boasts about trying to funnel vital investment away from deprived areas. He says one thing and does another. But they're shouting. They're not my words. They're not my words. They're the words of the former chair of the Tory party, sacked yesterday for telling the truth about the Prime Minister. Even his own side know he's not on the side of working people. That's why the only time he ran in a competitive election, he got trounced by the former Prime Minister, who herself got beaten by a lettuce. (laughs) So why doesn't he put it to the test, let working people have their say and call a general election?